Hey guys, what's up? It's Scottish Ducky once again. Right, time for another collection update. Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Ducky once again. Time for another Q&A. Right. Anyway, went through all the comments. I got ten questions here. Let's go through them, shall we? My neck hurts for some reason. Anyway. First question is from, um... The Francis G32. Okay, how do you study and play games? Okay, right. I wanted to ask this to you know, because uh, this guy seems to relate to me, you know. And this chair is squeaky. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Yeah, I understand, you know, because even though my uni's over, there still are a lot of students. You know, they're just about to go into summer, and uh, they're finishing off all their exams. It's hard, like you know, you can't like enjoy a game, you know, without thinking, like, I'm, I was sitting here, uh, during my, uh, exam time, sitting playing the game thinking, I really should be studying, I really should be studying, oh, I can't enjoy this, that's what it was like, you know, and it's just so, uh, but when it's all over, and you can play games normally, it's the greatest feeling ever, it really is, but yeah, that's pretty much it, you just gotta endure it, sorry, right, here's one from, uh, Darth Sorrow. What's your personal opinion about anime and what's your opinion on games made into anime? I've kind of talked about anime before, but funnily enough that you should ask that because I am currently downloading a K on. I've got a friend that keeps telling me to watch that. I haven't watched an anime in like three years and I've always kind of said to myself I'd get back into it. Uh, but we'll see if K on will ignite my interest again. But we'll see anyway. Uh, but yeah, the second part of your question is quite interesting. What's your opinion on games made into anime? Uh, there's not that many I can think of. Let me think of some. Um, there's Sonic... Oh, Sonic X, of course, which was shite. I really do like the Sonic OVA, though. That, that's a really good uh, OVA, in my opinion. Um, I've got the uh, Professor Layton film up there not long ago. That was made into an anime. It was a really good film. I liked it. Um, what else was the Street Fighter. Uh, what's it called? There's been a few Street Fighter animes, hasn't there? There's been the film, uh, which follows Ryu and Ken. Uh, that's really good, I enjoyed that a lot. And there's also Street Fighter 2V, which also follows Ryu and Ken, but it's got a different art style. Um, I, I enjoyed that as well, actually. I watched, the, I watched that back when I was into anime, you know? Um, let's think, was there anything else? Though? There is, like, hundreds, I'm aware of that, and I just can't think of it. Um... Uh, Nope, I can't. Sorry. Uh, there, was actually, there was actually an anime on Valkyria Chronicles. If only I was into that game. Speaking of which, I've got a question here about Valkyria Chronicles. A lot of you were asking about that. Uh, but if I ever get into the game, I'll definitely watch that. And also, the one thing I want more than anything is a Phoenix Wright anime. That would be when, okay? I really, really want that. And you also pointed out in your question there's apparently going to be a Persona anime. That's cool. I'll... I'll keep my eye on that, like, I'm a, I do like Persona. Only played the fourth Persona game and I didn't even beat it after 16 hours, as I said in my last Q&A. But yeah, I'll, still, it's an awesome series anyway, and I would, uh, keep my eye on it. Okay, here's one from, uh, John Char, uh, John C-H-R, uh, is, okay. Who's your favourite character from Yakuza 4? Alright, I'm assuming you're talking about the four, like, main characters, you know, uh, Kazuma Kiryu, uh, Shunakayama... Uh, Taiga Saijima and uh, Yoshi, Yosh, uh, Tanimura Yoshimana. That's is that it? Yoshimana? I think it is. Right. Anyway, but yeah, those four guys. I'm dead serious. I'm not just saying this because I'm a stupidly rabid fan, right? Those four characters are friggin' awesome. They really are, you know. Um, I enjoyed their storylines and their characters so much, uh, and it really, in terms of gameplay, you know, their different fighting styles really. Uh, they really added a, a layer of depth that the combat really needed in the Yakuza, the Yakuza series, you know, because just playing as with Kiryu's typical fighting style all the time was starting to get a bit stale, so it really helped. But my favourite out of them, in terms of characters, I really can't play, I really can't pick, to be honest, but in terms of gameplay, I think uh, Tanimura's uh, fighting style was my favourite, you know, he was kind of the lightweight. 
but he had like these awesome throw moves and all that, and I don't know, it was just more fun playing this, him to be honest. But again, all the other characters were great as well, seriously. Here we go. How far did you get in Valkyria Chronicles before you uh, gave up, and did you ever try the second one? This is from Dragon Rider. I got up to mission 7. I keep, I rant about this every chance I get, I know, but I've been wanting to get back into that game for so long. It's installed on my PS3 and I have no intention of removing it until I've beaten it, but yeah, I got up to Mission 7, which is kind of the one that everybody uh, fears. And I have the second one in there, in my wardrobe. I only played it for about an hour, I did like the first couple of missions, and I'm still wanting to beat the first one. Uh, you know what the sad thing is? If E3 Sega announced that they'll be bringing over Valkyria Chronicles 3 on the PSP this fall, I'll buy it. I total, I'll totally buy it. Right, anyway. Here's a Shiman DS. A Seaman Seaman DS. I don't know how you say that, alright? Um, Scottish Duck. Uh, what's your opinion on Nintendo dropping the Wii and moving primarily to the 3DS? Right, I've kind of reworded the uh, question, to be honest, but that's basically what you've asked, you know. Um... I don't think they've really dropped the Wii. I mean, they've certainly not really dropped the DS, have they? Uh, what the the two like main games that Nintendo are making? Gah, the batteries ran out again. That happens a lot, doesn't it? Okay. Anyway, we were just talking about um, Nintendo moving primarily to 3DS. You know, I don't think Nintendo's abandoning the Wii. Basically, right? The two games being made by Nintendo that are worth a damn right now are the new Kirby game. And Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, obviously. You know, that's kind of like what the GameCube was like, wasn't it? You know, it was like, it was dying, but it had the Zelda game, then it eventually got ported to the Wii. I wouldn't be surprised if Skyward Sword got ported to um, Project Cafe, actually. You know, it, it probably might possibly happen, but it will be on the Wii as well, of course. You know, just like Twilight Princess was also on the GameCube. But yeah, it's like... My theory on it, right, is that everybody who wanted a Wii, I don't know if I've said this in front of the camera before, but I'll, I'll say it again anyway, everybody who ever bought a Wii has, uh, you know, already bought one, right? Obviously, at the beginning of its, uh, uh, its lifespan, uh, it's sold through the roof, and now if you look on VG charts, it's always at the bottom, you know, 360 and PS3 is overtaking it, because everybody who ever wanted a Wii's already bought one. So I think uh, Nintendo's response to that was like at last E3 when they like totally went all out with uh, their first party, uh, you know, franchises. You know, they tried to please the core gamers, you know, they're done sort of pleasing casuals with the Wii. Now they're trying to appease uh, core gamers, and they succeeded, you know. And now that they're working on a new console, I think what they're doing for 2011 is they're just, you know, publishing a bunch of games. Like, uh, we've got uh, Xenoblade Chronicles coming out, and uh, that's confirmed for Europe. We don't know about America yet, but hopefully it will. But uh, here's my theory, right? Here's what I really want, Nintendo, if you're watching this, right? If you don't announce this at E3, all hope is lost. If you're gonna release Xenoblade, okay? Xenoblade, it was good. It got good reviews in Japan, right? And you published it. But if you're gonna release that, you better release The Last Story, okay? That was That's a game by uh, Mistwalker. And it looks amazing, you know, you go on and you watch gameplay of it, it looks fucking phenomenal, you know. If you're going to release Xenoblade, surely you're going to release the last story. And the fact that Xenoblade's even coming out at all is a real, uh, a real shocker, you know, because Nintendo have always stayed away from Japanese RPGs. And, yeah. Basically, I just really, really wish that uh, last story would come out. And there's also that game, Pandora's Tower. Uh... I'll, personally, I'd just I'd be happy with a last story, you know. But having that one over would be cool as well. But yeah, I think that's going to be Nintendo's strategy for 2011 and at E3. You know, they're just going to announce a bunch of games that they will be publishing but not making because they'll be focusing all their attention on Project Cafe. But yeah, anyway, that was a long one, wasn't it? Um, next one. Uh, this is from a J J J J J J J J one one F A. Have you seen Gex Up's Naughty Dog vs. Insomniac? Yes, I have, and I enjoyed it immensely. Gex Up's uh, makes some really good videos. I'm pretty sure I've shouted this guy out before in the past, but uh, I want to do it again, actually, because um, he lives in Japan, and he actually hasn't made a video since the uh, earthquake hit. Uh, you know, I wish him all the best. I really do. Uh, but it'd be cool. It'd be cool when he, if he eventually comes back and makes more videos, but yeah. 
either way, I hope he's doing, if you're watching this, Gex, I hope you're doing well. Like I said, definitely check him out, because uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of my viewers would love his stuff. Um, okay, uh, here's one from, um, I can't read my own handwriting! Kame Cattle Cat 16. Yeah, eh. What's your honest thoughts on Portal 2? Portal 2 is fucking amazing, okay? Actually, I've been meaning to play for Portal 1 again. I might do that today, in fact. Um, but yeah, Portal 2 is just friggin' phenomenal. I think it's perfect in every sense of the way. Obviously, it doesn't uh, hit you as hard as Portal 1 did. You know, Portal 1 was like this amazing thing. Whereas Portal 2 is kind of the same thing, but in a way, pretty much better. Because, you know, more better characters, uh, better puzzles, in my opinion. Uh, longer, of course. Uh, the co-op is actually amazing. I've finally had a chance to play it. I really love it. I'm actually working on getting the Platinum Trophy for Portal 2. I never do that for a game. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm really working on getting the platform Portal 2 yet. But yeah, Portal 2, easily one of the greatest games this year, is fucking phenomenal. Alright, and speaking of which, the uh, next question from a... Uh, fucking hell, what is wrong with you people? Somaliangsterpuff. Okay. What are your thoughts on L.A. Noir? A lot of you probably are going to like me for this, but... I traded in L.A. Noir, okay? I'm pretty sure there's a few of you that think that I'm like a rock star here, because I've stated that I didn't like Grand Theft Auto 4. And I didn't think Red Dead was, you know, absolutely freaking amazing, but I did really like Red Dead Redemption. But L.A. Noir, before I start getting into it, I just want to say that I greatly respect L.A. Noir as a game, you know? In fact, when I first saw L.A. Noir announced, I immediately rolled my eyes and thought, well, I didn't roll my eyes, I just thought, hmm, yeah, Rockstar's making uh, Grand Theft Auto in the 1940s as opposed to Grand Theft Auto in the Wild West, you know. That's exactly what I thought when I saw it. But then, just before it came out, I actually watched some gameplay, and I'm thinking to myself, oh my god, this isn't Grand Theft Auto, this is fucking Phoenix Wright! Okay, and then I just started really getting excited, you know. But uh, then I started playing it, and uh, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Western RPGs, right? And I, the reason I don't like those kind of reflected with uh, L.A. Noir, if you know what I mean. I know I'm really not wording this properly, but what basically happened is whenever I was uh, interviewing a suspect, you know, and I got a question wrong, you know, you can either say that they're lying, you can doubt them, or you can say they're telling the truth. Every time I got a question wrong, I just felt this great sense of unsatisfaction. You know, I turned off the my console and just like restarted until I got them all right. That's just how I don't know, it's just a weird O C D thing I have. I can't eat, enjoy the game knowing that I got that stupid hang rang. And that's kind of you get sort of little things like that in Western RPGs as well, you know, and that's another thing I don't that's probably why I can't really have fun playing them, but yeah. I traded it in because that's kind of a rule of mine if you're if I'm not enjoying a game but it's still, you know, the first week it's out and it's worth um, a little much, I'd trade it in. But yeah, once again, I do respect L.A. Noir. You know, I think it's really pushing the industry forward. You know, I think Rockstar, I really admire Rockstar for doing something new with it. And a lot of people are enjoying it. You know, just not me, because I'm weird, yeah. Anyway, here's one from, uh, okay, Sly the Master Thief 999. Uh, what happened to your Okami LP? Uh... I lost it. Um, actually, I think I've talked about this before, yeah. In fact, I have talked about this before. Why did I bother writing that? Yeah, Okami at Let's Play, I don't know when I'll get back to that. It's just... Anyway, next question. Last question, actually. Um, Thero 2091 Okay, apparently I just found out there's an Ace Attorney movie in production. What are your thoughts on that? Ah, uh, here we go. Right. Uh, this is a Tony, hold on, I'm just going to bring it up, actually. Uh, Ace Attorney, uh, film was kind of hinted at. It's not actually confirmed, but it basically is, you know. It's from the director of uh, Itchy the Killer, I can't remember his name right now, but... I've never seen Itchy the Killer, to be honest, but... Apparently he's like this really violent director. And, uh, he is... He said that he's working on, a. Uh, a film based off a video game, 
which is a court drama and it's light hearted and it's for the Nintendo DS the game so yeah basically that's Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney but yeah I'm really looking forward to it I would be very interested in seeing that I mean we don't know if it's going to be good or not and it's probably just going to stay in Japanese you know it's it'll probably be released with subtitles maybe but yeah either way I'm looking forward to that you know I think that'd be interesting I want an anime on Ace Attorney more than a film but Either way, you know, it, it's, it'll be cool to see it, definitely will. Right, that's that, guys. Once again, post your comments, and I will pick ten of them and answer them. So, yeah. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.